So yes, I completely do uh, get the fact that I haven't been doing any actual movement like vlog type uh, videos in a while. It's been definitely a bit. So I recently bought something and I really think it's worth actually letting you guys have a look at it because it is really detailed and I just want to show you it so here's my brand new 1 to 18 scale model Lamborghini Centenario Roadster by Auto Art I know things like this may seem a little different to what I usually do. Normally I just post videos of uh, well, real life car c c content or like content about real cars. So this is something that's a little bit different but I just want to show you always. Because the amount of detail that's on this, but this is the most detailed model car I have ever bought, and I just want to show you just how amazing it is. So uh, let me just show you around this car because I think it's just fantastic. And by the way, I did just get this uh, to my house just now. And I've bought this case with it uh, just to put it in there before it gets like covered with a uh, dust, which I believe is a model model car collector's worst nightmare. By the way, if you buy one of these auto art c c cars, um, you're not you'll get a box with it, but but. Um, you don't actually get any like dust proof c c cases like this um, with it. You basically just get a car. You can see underneath there's like little bits of c c carbon fiber just just down there. Uh, you've also got a Lamborghini badge that's actually being pushed into the bodywork rather than it being a st sticker, which, which is a uh, a really neat piece of uh, attention to d d detail. You've got these nice headlights. They may look like they're almost like reflecting off really weirdly. That's got nothing to do with the car, that's just my camera just being a bit weird. Uh, you've got a nice uh, frunk, which actually does open. There you go. The, uh, the hood is actually really actually quite uh, sturdy and nice. So uh, there's no chances of this uh, having to break easily. So that's really nice. Oh, it's inside. By the way, I'm wearing these uh, pr protective gloves uh, because when you buy uh, this type of case, it actually comes with these nice protective uh, gloves so you don't get any markings on the uh, case or or anything that you're t touching, so that's really nice. Um, so in there, you've got, you've got yourself a, a tiny funk. It's all carpeted as well, so that's really nice. And then you've got these amazing doors. If we if we moved aside, and let me sit down. You've got these amazing doors, which open perfectly. And to help with uh, the doors opening, they have uh, I think I believe they're called gas struts, uh, which are those little. Hmm. 
metal lever things which help make a uh, door keep up without uh, f f f f f falling back down. So that's really nice. Uh, we will get back to the interior because that is pretty impressive. But firstly, once again, if we get one to the front here, you've got these nice little bits of carbon fibre, all really nicely done. And then you got these uh, amazing two tone five sp sp spoke wheels, uh, which are in a mixture of metal and carbon fibre, which look really, really nice. As well as the car even has uh, white t t tire whitening and uh, markings on the actual tire which is attention to detail times a thousand and fifty the uh, Lamborghini Centenario has uh, a, a pretty well known fact for its enormous size vents uh, like the size of a human being <laughs> they are um, completely massive and this car has replicated them very very well um, you've also got the side skirt which uh, is also in carbon fibre you've got a back wheel it's, ba it's basically the same as that one but it's amazing Re re regardless move around to the back of the c car you've got a nice beefy bit of carbon fibre which you can see right there that goes all the way around and connects with the biggest possible uh, diffuser on any car <laughs> I mean I've only seen one Lamborghini Centenario before which actually was this exact one it was a uh, launch I saw it at Goodwood it was a Roadster in its uh, launch spe spec, which is the uh, silver, which I believe is called Archento Centenario. It's like a nice silver, it's got like a tiny little fleck of uh, blue in it, and it came with a tan interior, and I think it's just, uh, it's it's one of the best, what, well, um, Personally, I think it's one of the best bets you can have on a uh, a Lamborghini Centenario Roadster. Anyway, moving on. You've got nice, really detailed, uh, clear rear lights, which are replicated. Also, if you look through the uh, things up here, you can see right into the engine's radiators which I think is a really cool touch and you've of course got the uh, the central triple source and you've also got well tons of carbon fiber now this car does have a movable wing uh, it's not a it is quite fragile but I'll try and actually get it up for you. There you go. So, just like a wheel car, it does have a little wing. And uh, personally, I think it looks better without, um, sorry, with a wing down. Um, and it also saves me from not having to damage that piece. <laughs> but then, if we move up here, we get to the engine bay so we can actually uh, take the lid off uh, this is a magnetic piece so uh, it's kind of easy to take off and it's really precious so I'm just gonna lay it there look at the detail inside of this I mean if you've seen the engine of a Lamborghini Centenario yeah, there's maybe a bit more colour in it, but this is basically it. You, it, it is ridiculously detailed. You can see there, there's the uh, suspension uh, down here. And then you've got this amazing V12 uh, 
59 horsepower engine. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic uh, detail. And amazing detail for the actual hood. I mean, it's in carbon fiber uh, with the uh, paintwork. And you've got these nice little carbon details right, right on the end, which uh, lock the boot right into place. If you do it right. <laughs> there you go. So it's completely uh, uh, magnetic. Which is really, really nice. You can actually see bits of the engine ins inside through the uh, glass as well, which I think is really cool. Uh, now, moving on to the interior, this is where it gets nice. So, the main reason why I bought this one, there's like different colored versions that you can get, but there's two manufacturer options. There's silver with a tan interior, Oh, there's the full polished carbon fiber one with the yellow accents that basically cover around uh, whether where the outside has c c carbon fiber uh, on this one. So the uh, doors are really detailed. You can see there's a uh, a pole strap. Uh, which is just like on the uh, Tintarios. Nice little piece there because that's to do with uh, saving weight rather than having a normal normal donor Tintinario logo on the uh, door sill. You've also got Tintinario logo on on this little piece here that's just just behind the door it's a bit hard to actually focus on it but it, it is there in full on detail so inside the car you've got these nice tan colored uh, seats with uh, white uh, patterns which is a signature uh, thing on uh, I think all Lamborghini Centenarios uh, but, but I just love how it's been made there. Even the um, little pieces here in in uh, black are actually in carbon. So the, so the, the, the amount of detail that's in it is absolutely fantastic. Oh, so yeah, it's basically just like a normal Lamborghini Centenario for now. But, um, well i.e. That's, that is exactly what it's meant to be. <laughs> so uh, you've got things like the centre console which has been very nicely laid out. Uh, you've got a really nice wheel. Uh, you've also got a really nice uh, uh, dial that's in front of the wheel as well. The car even comes with the uh, sea belts as well. It's kind of hard to tell but they are there. Uh, so yeah. Overall, I think this is a really nice uh, uh, diecast slash composite model. This is a, this is the most detailed one that I've ever bought. The most detailed I've bought uh, before this was probably my Mini Champs uh, Top Gear Edition V1. So yeah, I. This is definitely. I I don't think this is gonna leave uh, my house anytime soon because I think it's just fantastic. So yeah, this is the uh, Lamborghini Centenario works uh, by Auto Art in uh, Ar Argento Centenario. And you and when you say Lamborghini Centenario, you have to say. Italian because it's because it's because it's Italian. Yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you found this uh, a video in um, interesting or informative in any way, then please do subscribe to our 
channel for, for more videos like these to come in the future. Maybe not all of them being diecast models. This, I'm only looking at this video because I thought that this was just a really nice model just to film and um, yeah, I just want to say that I've got a bit of a problem with, well, soon I think I'll have a bit of a problem with hoarding <laughs> um, model cars, so um, yeah, so yeah, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video and remember, it's a tutorial.